Greetings from Jim, AG6IF. I want to show you today my APRS setup here in my Crown Victoria. Let's zoom back a bit here. It has a Gar Garmin 350. I have a Kenwood D710. Not the G model with the GPS built in. And that's going to be important to know because my GPS for my Garm for my uh, Kenwood is fed it's using this Garmin 350 I've got a cable from Kenwood you can also get one from Argent Data so the uh, the radio feeds off of this Garmin 350 the nice thing about uh, the setup is first of all the 350s are very inexpensive uh, the second thing that's nice is that the radio actually feeds the position of the stations it hears on APRS back to the Garmin. What you can see here is you'll see call signs around my location. There's a K, uh, what is it, KI4, MTT-1. I'm in Southern California, by the way. Uh, there's a couple up here. So the nice thing is when the radio hears a beacon, it has a lat and long and a speed, trajectory, and all that stuff. It feeds all that into the, Gar into the Garmin 350. And the, the Garmin displays it on the map in front of me. So uh, that makes it kind of nice if you're uh, traveling with somebody or you're looking to meet up with somebody. Uh, you can uh, zoom out and see quite a few call signs. You can also go to a call sign. This is kind of neat. Uh, menu, uh, where to, and you go to your, your favorite places, and it drops these call signs automatically into the favorites screen, and they're sorted by distance, as you can see here. There's a lot of call signs in here. It drops them in there. So we're down to 46 miles. Let's see how many we got in here. Seventy miles. Oops. Eh. Now I selected a call sign and it will actually calculate the driving directions to that station. Um, it's kind of neat. And it will update their position <laughs> on the fly. Uh, most of the time uh, a, a location in your favorites doesn't move while you're approaching it. That's the neat thing about how this works. So it went out to about 100 miles or so. Uh, so I was meeting up with a ham friend and I, uh, I just selected him. He had APRS as well. I, I found his, his uh, call sign in here and said, you know, go to and directed me right directly to him. So it's kind of neat. So anyway, uh, the 710 and the, G uh, the Garmin 350 work great together. A little power meter here. I'm feeding all this with Anderson power poles. <clears throat> and uh, that works nicely in the car here. What else? Uh, I have a 7-inch uh, tablet running torque for my dash, my pseudo dash, speed, RPMs, load, trans temperatures and coolant temperatures, outside air intake temperature. By the way, it's Southern California. This is Christmas Day, 64 out bunch of other things you can customize this make your own make your own screens um, quite a few different screens a lot of a lot of data points you can put in there that app is called torque from Ian Hawkins it's an Android app uh, very nice it only costs a few bucks he did a nice job with it I'm running it on a 7 inch tablet here that's just a cheap uh, Android tablet from uh, one of the uh, the best uh, uh, electronics stores out there with a yellow sign. <laughs> it 
and it was I think it was like 39 bucks on sale 49 bucks regularly so it doesn't take much it's Bluetooth it connects to an OBD2 scantool.net OBD uh, uh, connector there on my on, on my computer in the car here uh, also got in the car here a mesh node a ham ham mesh node uh, broadband ham net mesh and a Raspberry Pi running uh, basically the uh, Asterix telephone system uh, so that's just um, kind of mounted on the back of the passenger seat here now let's see if I can get a, a shot of it for you Raspberry Pi and one of the WRT54 routers connects to my mesh node for emergencies uh, what else uh, I guess that's about it but I wanted to show you this APR setup it's pretty nice it's done uh, relatively inexpensively the, the Kenwood 710 is a wonderful radio for doing this with uh, so that's one way you can save a little, a few dollars going with the Garmin 350 instead of the uh, the other uh, commercially available uh, product that uh, can connect up to this guy. You can also just put a GPS on there if you want to, plug that in. But you don't get the mapping. The mapping is what makes it really neat. So, anyway, 73, thanks for watching. This is Jim AG6IF in Southern California on Christmas Day. 64, 66 degrees outside right now. How about that? Have a nice uh, day and thank you for watching. 73 AG6IF.